Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today I'll be doing a review on Dan Sklarkenberg and Sklarkenberg and Kim Carlin in the Piston Cup series. They are numbers 13 and 14 out of 14 cars in the series. Now if you're wondering why this is scribbled out, check out my Amazon box video and you will see. Now I did order this and the Brian C. Clamp, Artie and Brian C. Clamp 2 pack which I already did a review on. I ordered both of them off Amazon but I actually did see them at my local Walmart. So I actually did see them in the store so they are hitting stores which is pretty nice. I mean at least in my area. I'm not sure. I think other people actually did find these guys in the stores, but as for Case B with Lightning McQueen and Made with No Towers, Heather Driving and Michelle Monorata and John Lastar and Jeff Corbett's Pity, I'm not sure that those guys are being found in the stores. At, and I don't think anybody has actually found them in the stores yet, and I'm wondering if they're not even going to hit stores. Someone may have found them, I'm not sure though. But in the Piston Cup series, oh, like I said, anyways. Um, let me read the description. The King of Chick Hicks and Lady McQueen compete in a tiebreaker race to win the Piston Cup Championship. Pretty nice description. But, uh, kind of inaccurate because it's about the LA Speedway and, like, hauling gas, cloud scrubs, those guys, the Apex, those guys are released in the series and they haven't, and they didn't appear at, um, the LA Speedway, so I'm not really sure what I was thinking there, but either the people who actually work on the description for the series never watched Cars and just assume that's what happened by looking at this picture, or I mean, when you're talking about LA, maybe they just know about the title of the race thing, and that's what they're doing, maybe those are the same people who are working on the LA Speedway and their thoughts are still about the LA Speedway and they write that for Piston Cup, but that's been like that for like three years now. So I don't know, but that's not my problem because it's Mattel's problem if they want to have bad quality. Or bad, uh, I'm not sure what to say, bad, not, 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 not collect this good thing. But I'll be back with these guys out of the package. So here they are out of the package, and really, Dan, Dan Sklarkenberg was a canceled 2010 final lap release. I believe he was one of the last cases that had, like, the Rusty pickup fan, or the 95 McQueen pickup truck fan, and a uh, flat-eyed Willymer Flats. I'm pretty sure those guys were also in some of the last cases, and they were canceled. But uh, Kim Collins really was never previewed as a die cast. So, he's just like a little add-on car, I guess you could say. And, uh, she, uh, we'll get to Kim's, uh, what gender he is in a second. Or, what gender Kim is in a second. But let's get on to Dan. Really nice expression. Pretty nice, at least. Nice wheels are not the same as, uh, Tom's or, like, race official Tom's wheels. See if I can read the license plate. I believe it says WE6WU. Red tail lights. Pretty nice. I really do like the rims on him. And if we compare him to race official Tom, who you think he might be the same model as? Really, he's not. He's, 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 you can see his roof looks a bit smaller than Tom's. And he's, uh, what's it called? Shorter than Tom. So he is not the same model. As race official Tom, pretty sure he's um, a new model. Pretty sure he's the only car that ever uses this model. So he's a very nice car for sure, even though he has like the same like line indent here. You can see both of these have like a line here going across the car. So that's kind of cool. Rear view mirrors on both of them. And he's like about the same, but he's just a bit smaller than Tom. But he's a very nice model. And let's get on to Kim Collins. Now Kim is can be a female or a male. Kim is a male and female name. 
which way I got my break, but uh, uh put him that but since Dan is a male and their news reporters can't might be a female but because they're you know kind of like like RC cars five seven eight is real on these they're usually like a male you know host and then a female cohort or vice versa but he does or Kim does not have the black what's it called eyelashes on him or on or Kim doesn't have the black eyelashes and he was first Kim I should stop saying he Kim was first previewed to be a uh, his Kim's name was first previewed to be Jeremy Hot Rod Mellow I think that was what they previewed Kim's name to be first so I mean really I guess if you unless you ask Mattel or Disney or whatever Kim was never really heard speaking in the movie. I think you could see or you could see Kim's mouth moving, but I don't think they ever it was inaudible. You could I don't think I don't think you could hear it. So, but he is a uh, Kim's about the same model as Marty, except Marty's wheels go underneath the fender here. See, Marty's wheels are very thin. Kim's wheels are pretty thin as well, but. They go, they're going out of the fender, maybe touching the fender, maybe even going out of the fender a bit. Well, Marty's are stuck in, so if you can, if you kind of look at him from the back, you really can't see the wheels as much as you can on Kim. So, I don't really know if it's a new model or not. They might have just changed something up with the axle inside and made the axle longer. But other than that, he is really the same, except I don't believe he has a mouth plate. Or Kim, I don't believe, has a mouth plate. His license plate is ML115, and that reads New Coil State? What? I don't know if there's New Coil State. I can't read that. Bottom Rio or something? I don't know. I can't read these license plates on top until it makes them so small. But at least it's not the same as Marty's here. So these guys are very nice models. I really like them. But Kim was never really previewed to be released. So he's kind of an uh, Kim is an add-on item. <laughs> add-on item like Amazon. Um he's like an add-on. Kim is an add-on to Dan. But um what do you think Kim is? Do you think he is a male or do you think it's a she, a female? Let me know in the comment section below. I really don't know. I mean, Dan's a male and they work on a new station. That's a really big plus for Kim to be a, what's it called? Uh, a female, but he doesn't have, she, or Kim doesn't have the black eyeliners. And I know some females don't have the black from don't have the eyeliners, but usually the eye no eyeliner means you're a male. But I mean Kim is a male and female name, so if they named her if they named Kim something like Jessica or something like Jeremy, we would know. Okay, Jessica, she's a female. Jeremy, he's a male. Kim, you don't really know. So. Yeah, let me know your um, thoughts in the comment section below. And thanks for watching this video, guys. And which one of these is really your favorite? Do you like Kim or Dan more? I, I don't know. I think I might like Kim more. He, um, Kim is just a very... I, th I think Kim looks very nice. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And bye-bye.